Damien Dennis here for the Pitt Sports and Entertainment. We're here at Purcell Pavilion where Notre Dame entered tonight's contest against 7th ranked Miami with the ability to control their own destiny. Unfortunately, much like this past weekend where Notre Dame fell to Florida State on the road, they returned to Purcell Pavilion where they ended up losing again, this time 68-50. to It seems like Notre Dame may have been a little bit shell-shocked after that loss to Florida State. Uh, yeah, it was tough, man. Um, you know, I think we came in here trying to get a, a confidence boost. We tried to get another win to help us get better, uh, but we didn't come out uh, strong enough. You know, we didn't come out to execute and get a win. Yeah, they, they're a great team, and so um, we got ourselves in a hole, and usually we're able to, you know, fight out of that. Um, but a lot of that is because um, our offensive efficiency is, like, really good, and then we're getting consecutive stops. So um, just we just, you know, didn't make enough shots and didn't get enough stops, and so um, this comes down to that. And, comes down to just effort, sliding our feet, and then just having some pride. Notre Dame head coach Mike Bray actually mentioned during his post-game press conference that Miami might be the potential national champions. They may win a national championship, first of all. They're, they're really good, and they're really old, and their men were playing against our boys, I thought, most of the night. You can't get off to a start like that and try and dig out a hole against a team like that. Um, we're struggling right now on offense. Defensively, even though they got some layups and they had some putbacks, you know, that's enough if we're in any kind of semblance of our offensive rhythm. But uh, we're in search mode and we got to try and figure out how to find it. Zach August led the effort for the Fighting Irish, scoring 18 points and notching his 17th double-double of the year with 11 rebounds. Notre Dame fell to a 21-3 deficit in the early goings of the first half, and despite tightening the gap by as much as seven at one point, the Irish failed to overcome the speed and size of Miami. The Hurricanes were led offensively by Angel Rodriguez, who dropped 19 points while Sheldon McClellan added 17 of his own. Miami managed to keep Steve Visturia quiet all night, forcing him to shoot 0 for 9 and kept Demetrius Jackson to a meager 7 points. Monzi Colson was the only other Irish attacker to break double digits in scoring, and he only had 11 points. Notre Dame shot just 34% on the night. The Irish finished the regular season at home Saturday afternoon against NC State.